So the next thing for us to start doing from this point is to get our pivot charts, pivot tables, and start uh, answering these questions. Uh, we've got about eight questions in all. If we start from one, we'll make it uh, interactive. We need total profit for the month by team leader. We need total profit by team leader. What should I do um, from this pivot table uh, fields? What should be my move? The question is total profit should be shown as per team leader. Okay, let, let me give it a try. Okay. So you go to sales order, you right. collapse that, and you pick the total sales. You click total sales. Okay. Is it total profit? Sorry. Was it total profit or total sales? Total profit. Oh, sorry. Take that off. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I take that back. So total profit. Okay. Click on total profit. Total profit. Then you go to team. Uh, what's the question again? Oh, I should open it on my laptop. Team leader. Total profit by team, team leader. leader. Yes. So you go to the team list now. Okay. And team list is... Let's see which one. Okay, the third one. And then click on team leader, yeah. Team leader. Okay. So we've got we've got that. We see three team leaders under event. We, this is what we've got. Let me format this so that we can read it. Um read it properly. Number format. And we can just use number so that uh, and if we don't want the decimal bit, we can take that off. But it's easier to read, to see now that we got 2,761,887.17. And Gary has got that and Luke has got that. In total, this is what we have. So I'm just gonna put team leader here. Okay, so, and uh, we can just let me see if it will let me change this to total profit or sum of profits. Sometimes it doesn't let you change, um, use exactly what we have uh, in the the name we have in the in the field field li list already. But it lets us, so we are we are fine. Okay, so and it's as simple as that, you know. Um, it's a, it's as simple. That question has been answered. I'm just going to copy the question and uh, put it on top there. So that we know that's the question that we, we answered. Uh, what have I done? Did I paste it in the wrong place? Yeah, no, I didn't paste it in the wrong place, okay. So I'm just gonna make that bold, you know, Maybe give it a bit of um, a bit of space. So I'll move our pivot table down a little bit. You know, okay. So that looks good. Okay, and for somebody who who wants to see a, a graphical representation, what graph do you suggest we we represent this with? Uh, column chart okay so if i go to insert um pivot charts let's see what that gives uh, okay so yeah these are uh, column chart there and we've got different types of column charts we've got clustered column we've got this stacked column 100 percent stacked in this case, just the clustered column, the column ordinary one is fine. We don't have too much to show, so we can okay that. Okay, if that's what you wanna you wanna show, um, and you can always format this the, the, the way you want it, you know. But easily, this this gives us um, a good view to compare between the three of them, um, even without looking at numbers. It's very graphical. Um, I'm just going to cut that 
graph out and place it on, on probably we call this our dashboard. Okay. Okay. All right, then we can go to question two. And question two is top five. So if I cut that here and I put question two, maybe somewhere here. And we can make that bold as well. It says top five commission earners over the month. Commission is only paid per sale when profit is greater than a thousand and it is not an exception. Okay, we, we only put one condition. We didn't look at this, this other condition. You know, when we were doing our profit, there's two conditions. Says um, when profit is greater than a thousand, that's the only one we considered. And it says that, and it is not an exception. Okay, so that should have been part of our uh, part of what we I'm going to take that bit out uh, because so that we can move off this uh, data set you know and look at another one I don't want to spend too much time on this one so we use we, we go with it with the condition that we have already set into our into our table okay and um, I'm going to copy this this uh, pivot table here so that we can reuse and just uh, customize it to what we need. So I'll paste that here, um, escape this. And I'm ju just gonna hide this again. Okay. So in this case, we need our top five commission earners. How do we get that? So rather than total profit, we need commission. I'm going to take total profit out, okay? And the commission we calculated inside the sales order, okay? Um, commission amount, okay? Total commission is what we'll, we'll use, okay? So we put that in. And commission was earned by salespeople, not team leaders. So I'll take the team leader out, you know, and um, sales person. Sales person, okay. So we've got that, All right? Um, and I'll change this to sales person because sales person because it's the sales that that's what it is um total commission we can change this to just total commission to make that look uh, okay okay to read as well okay and we need the top five okay so how do we get just the not everybody just the top five out of here i need some suggestions from here from us rather not from how do we get top five from, from this pivot table? What do you think we should do? I think, uh, well, I'm guessing uh, we can highlight the old column. Okay. Right click. Okay. And um, is this show values as okay show value as uh rank 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 largest to smallest okay is at the bottom there yeah. this one right yes, yes ma'am okay and it say what's the base field name okay so this is what it's done it's ranked Largest to smallest, but is, this is not exactly what we wanted, is it? Ah, okay. <laughs> no, I'm asking. It's not. Yeah, exactly. it's not what we want. No, no, no. Okay, so. I, um, I guess I guess my way through this one. No, no, so. no. You, what you did was good, actually. Um, so I'll undo that step. Okay. So um, let's see. 
Mom, can we sort by largest to uh, um, smallest first? Okay. So if we sort there, it's going to originate in descending order for us. Okay. Then we can drag this total commission again uh, as double, then use it as rank as well. Okay. So that we don't use this this same um, value so here. We have double total commission. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But let me do, let me bring the, th the, th the other one in first. So I'll drag another one in. So we have two total commission. This is the one we want to use as the rank, Abby. Rank or ranking, whichever way we want us to. to. So we, we said to sort this um, from, so sort should be under here somewhere from, if I use from yeah largest to smallest z to a, okay. So this is our largest. Uh, let me format the number as well, so that we can be sure of what we are looking at. Okay. All right. So the largest there is twenty nine thousand. We sorted from the largest to the smallest. That's sort uh, descending now, not ascending, not the other way around. And now we are saying that we need this one to, to rank it for us, okay? So I think what you said about, uh, let me remove, I don't want, no, okay. Uh, no, ma, you don't even need to highlight. By the time you right click, you will see show value as. Okay. On that thing, yeah, show value as. Show value as. Yeah, so rank. Ranking from largest to, okay. Yeah. Then let's use, it's still in sales, it's the only option there actually, so. Yeah, so it's going to rank it then. Yeah, then we can apply filter uh, to that ranking and said, just make it top five. Since okay. they ask for top five. So let's apply filter. Thank you very much, sir. Um, hmm. Why is it not letting me filter? Of course, filter was supposed to. Okay. So value filter, top. So let me redo that. I came to the only, I was expecting to see filter here and here as well, but it didn't give it. So here we go. Using this now, uh, the options you have under here, it says sort, a to Z, so we, we could have sorted from here as well, or Z to A, more sort options if those are not enough. Label filters, okay. Um, if you want to uh, filter using these parameters here, what is the value that we want to filter? And we need the top five, okay. So the options we have, if you wanted to filter based on equals to a certain value, you use this. Does not equal to, you will use that. And it goes on and on to, then it says top 10 here, but if you click on the top 10, it will give you the option to, to adjust that to whatever top number you want, you know, top 20, top 50, whatever it is. Okay, and we can okay that. And here we go, we've got our top five. Um, is that clear? Thank you very much, Mr. Azim, as usual. Is that clear to us how we got to this point or should I redo that part? So I, I was close, just that that extra column I didn't put in. Yeah. You were, you really were. <laughs> uh, even if we Thank didn't, you, Mr. Azim. Thank you. this extra column just helps you to see, to see the number. The, the, the ranking properly. If you didn't put it and you submitted it like this, it's, it, you will still be fine, you know, but the extra just drives it home, you know, better, you know, for us. Um, so then we go on to the third one and the third one says a chart of number of items sold per day. We want a chart for this one. Okay, so if we put that here and we build in that up, a chart of number of items sold per day. Okay, 
I'm going, I'm still going to borrow any of these, any of these will do, but I'll borrow the first one so that we can, you know, we can copy that and, you know, adapt, adapt it to what we want. So a chart of number of items. So how do you propose we do number of items per day? Looking through everything we need, number of items that were sold per day. We got ID, does ID, which is the other ID, help us. Other ID would count how many orders were placed by the uh, place per day. It won't necessarily tell us um, how many items actually, because two or three or more than one item could be sold within just one order. Okay. It says per day. So we do we do need the dates, you know. So I'll take the the team leader out and bring a date here, okay? But I don't want it in column, I want it here. The team leader I wanted out completely, okay? So we've got um, the days there, okay? But we, we don't need total profit, we need number of items sold per day. Uh, I'll Can we use product count? <clears throat> okay, thank you. We need product count, okay? So if we put product count there, it so it sums, you know, how many how many items were sold per day. We'll need to um, scroll down just to 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 be sure, you know. We don't need a decimal for this one, and then okay, we need that one. Okay, okay. So if we look through all of the days for fourth, fifth, it's just one month's worth of data to, to be honest. So from the fourth to the 30th, this is the number of um, items in tabular form that was sold per day. Uh, but it says it needs a chart, not a table. So what chart should you, do you think is best to use for this, to display this? Is it bar chart or which one? Is I'll, it I'll go with line charts since it's time series um, data. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. We've used column chart before. Now, line chart is good for showing um, data over time. If you are trying to show a trend of what has happened from one uh, period of time to another, line charts is the best. That's why Mr. Azim suggested the line chart straight away. So your best bet is always um, line for, for anything you know time related. It's not the only one we could use. It's just that it's, it's been known to, have, to be used for, for showing trend of how data has gone over time, you know. Um, and we see, again, this data, this can be better formatted. Um, we, um, but yes, we, we see a kind of a, from the fourth, we see a kind of a drop up to the uh, sixth. Then we had a bit of a rise up to the ninth. Then we had a bit of fall. And um, it wasn't very constant. Uh, Within this this period, uh, the highest we had was just something in the region of uh, just under a million or a little over a million uh, for a while, you know. And and from that point, you can see a kind of a little bit of an upward trend, a, a bit of a drop towards the end of the month, and we were about to ha start having a kind of a rise up there. Um, when the month ended, okay? So um, line chart is the best to use for showing dates related. Uh, however, if we had used, let's, use, let's look at some other 
options that we could have, you know, looked at. Um, if we had looked at um, pi, is definitely not it. Can you see that this is not really showing us anything? It's, there's too much happening. Um, pi, um, pi charts are best used for maximum of three to four items, if you're showing it. Uh, example is our team leader slash profits. That would have been a good, uh, it would have been really good to use a pie chart because it's quite small in terms of the number of uh, items we are comparing. Same goes with, with the donut as well. So that's not our best bet. Uh, if we had used a, a bar chart, yeah, bar chart's not bad either. You know, we can see a kind of a, a comparison there if we had used that, you know? So, and then the area graph, the area graph is just like the line chart, but the, the area of it is shaded, you know? Uh, if you look at the top bit of it, it's very similar. Let me okay that so that we can compare. The top bit is very similar to what we have. Um, let me take it to the other side so that we can, just for comparison purpose, yeah. So if you compare the top bit of this, you can see that it's exactly the same as what we have on top here. Um, it's just that it's got the, the, the shape of it shaded. That's why it's called that area, area chart. So it would be my second one to use if I'm not using the, the line chart for, for this purpose. That one would be what I use. Um, let me undo the, the small move I did there. Okay, but I'll take this out because I was just explaining with it. Okay, so, uh, and uh, quite a few more that one could, you know, look around and play with uh, there in the, in the chat uh, session, uh, section rather, you know. Uh, we don't need map for this purpose, definitely not, you know. But it's good to have a go at each one, see what it gives you, see how it helps you to explain to your stakeholder what you are trying to analyze um, or how you are trying to explain the results to them. And that's the one I would go with. Um, so, and then we've got- Sorry, man, before, before yeah. we move to the next one, can, can we format the date to only show the, um, the day and the month so, so that um, the, the graph can look a bit better if we just change the the date format to only show month and day, uh, day and month rather, since we all know that this is 2018. I think we can format that pivot okay. table itself. Okay, so remove 2018 from it. Yes. And then yes, probably should. remove the month because it's all January as well anyway. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that would that would also be a good one to, and we can just put in front of it or on top there that it's, it's a January data, you know. Okay. So yeah, that, that's good. that's true. Um, let's see, we can do this from the pivot table. I can't remember how to do it, so I'll need help. Um, is it from here? Field settings. It's not field settings. Mm -hmm. It should, sometimes it used to bring that in automatically. On Autom I was expecting it to bring it automatically, mm -hmm. but it didn't. Um, but I, I believe there's a way to do it. Um, in the if we there's a way it groups it. Let me right from, click and see. From the table, from the table itself, was this particular color formatted as dates? Yes, it was. It's okay. exactly the way the way that we see it. Um, if we put group, I believe it's group. Uh -huh. uh, we want to, to group, not years. We, we don't want years. It's, it says months already. If I put days okay. and remove months, let's see what this brings. Okay. Um, how does that affect our table? 4th of yeah. January. So January is repeated. Um, well, we could have just put January up here, like January total count of products up here as the title, so that January is, the January is reflected here. 
then we don't have to have January uh, repeated like that because the purpose of it is still not, um, let me see if more can be done with the group. Days, months, years, I've put it on days. I don't want months. Hmm. And if no, I that, that means we need to use only the days. We can remove the, the months. Yeah, I removed the months before and it's still bringing the, the months in. I think I think you you allied both month and day so before yeah ah okay I thought I did just months so I think the grouping is still there we might need to remove that grouping the first grouping first okay so remove the grouping first then redo it so on group okay so that is on group then. Uh, But I still need to group to be able to do it, is the thing. So at the moment, he's saying he's group it into months, but that's not true. If I put. No, you, you, okay, yeah, you've removed the months now. Yeah. Yeah, I still bring in, I removed the months before, but it's still giving us as 4th of January. Um, um but yeah maybe we'll take that away as an assignment to see how january can be taken out uh, let me see if from the table design if we can if anything can be done from the table design i doubt it um it's not it's not a question of total it's not a question of grand total um, it's not the report layout either. So it can be done from the table. Um, I mean, if this was a Power BI now easily, you can, you can get what you need to get out of it. Um, but Excel, Excel is so always needing extra knowledge. You know, but yes, um, I'll leave it at this for now so that we don't spend too much time trying to fix that. Um, we can remove these uh, field buttons or hide them rather, hide all the field buttons. We can see that this day. And I can just say total product counts, product counts, products count by or daily product count however it's you know however you feel your your you know passing the message across well to to your stakeholder is you know what matters more than anything um and here we did total profit by the essence of removing or hiding the field buttons is just to give us more space and make it look nicer, you know. So total profit by team leader is what we did here. And we can remove this legend. It doesn't add any extra information to it for us. You know, there's a lot of um, formatting we can do with that. Actually, um, we we might have a day for you know doing proper formatting. And this bit, I'm going to copy this part and put it on there. On this uh, because it's part of the question that we have answered, and that's the way that we want to present that. Um, and you can decide to chart this differently to, to what we have here. Um, it, it's, it's a matter of choice, okay? And um, so that's question, three questions done. Let's do a few more. A list of foods available for, this is the question that always gets me, this one. Control C, that's. And then um, if I put this here, as question four, you know, 
and then we can broaden that up. Okay. So it's, it's asking us to have a list of the fruits available for season three with fewer than 10,000 in stock. Okay. A list. So we need the fruits. We need season three. And we need to have the total, total stock of it. Those are the three fields that we need in our data. Okay. Again, I'm just going to copy any of these ones and we can use it. Okay. Right. Um, let's bring the field list back so that we can adapt that to what we need. We don't want team leader anymore, no. But we need uh, a list of fruits. So which table am I going into for list of fruits? Fruit list. Fruit list, thank you very much. So, uh, and we'll use the name of the fruits so that we know which fruit we are talking about. Now we don't need the total profits, okay? We do need, it says season three, so we do need season three available, okay, if it's true or false, okay? Uh, I'm thinking that we should put that on that filter so that we use it to filter. Okay, this is why I don't like using the same. Do you want to replace it, this action? Let me see what happens. Okay, we are fine. Okay, so that, you know, the ones that are available in, Okay, I've removed my question. That's fine. We can always put the question somewhere else. I'll put a word, uh, wrap this one up. Um, there's a word wrap somewhere here. Yeah, let me wrap that up. That's too, too wrapped now. I'm not using my mouse, so sorry. And that's not even doing what I wanted to do. But we'll leave. I just want that sentence not, not to take so much space anymore so that I can put um, the, the, the question that left somewhere here. And we need, that is question three, question four rather. So control C that again and bring it here. I'm actually gonna place it here, control V. So that works well. Okay. So we've got the, the list of fruits, okay? It says available in season three. We've got season three here. Um, and on that there we've got either is true or false. You know, if we expand that, Either is true or false. We need just the true. Well, I will not, you know, choose any just yet. And it says he wants the stock to be fewer than 10,000. So if we put stock, okay. Um, yeah, so we've put stock. But again, we are going to have to filter. Uh, it wants this, this stock to be fewer than 10,000. We don't even have up to 10,000 here anyway, I don't think. Let me see. So with, okay, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. With fewer than 10,000. So anything above 10,000 is not allowed in this, in this, um, in this uh, data, okay? It wants it to be available for season three. That's the first condition then it wants it to be fewer than 10,000 in stock. Okay, so if we come here and see and choose our true, okay? We just want a true. So if I unclick, select multiple, I just want true. Okay, so these are the only ones that are actually available for season three. But we only want, want ones that are less than 10,000, so to say. So if we come here to filter, 
value filters should still help us. So these value filters and label filters, they are lifesavers, okay? So we want it to be less than, and we want it to be less than 10,000. So 10, one, two, three, okay, okay. And these are the ones that are less than 10,000 um, in that uh, field list. I thought there were more, more than this. Hope I click the right, the right, uh, yeah, I did, I clicked the right thing. Anyway, this is what we have. Let me remove that for a minute. Uh, clear, clear filter. Um, from what we see here, I see a lot more, a lot that is actually less than 10,000. Can we sort it first and just, just to see, just can we sort it? Yeah, we can. From lowest to highest, yeah. Okay. So from, you said lowest to highest. Yes, the other way around, yeah. The other way around. So it's this then, if it's the other way around. Okay. And let me also... No, I think you are using the, you are using the alphabet. You know, you are using the... You are not using the... For the, the, the starting, Abby. Yeah, you are not using the stock. Mm. Yeah, so if you, because I see that what you did what was the, yeah, by, yeah. by alphabet. So it's using the alphabet. So you need to right click on the stock value, not okay. the, yeah. Uh, but the it's not, okay, let me do this. It's not really letting me, okay. Okay, actually we have it here. Thank you very much for that. So it's largest. Did I sort right? Is this what we wanted to achieve? Sort smallest to largest, right? Yes, I clicked the right thing. Okay, thank you. Which means what we did earlier with this, the top one, the top five, where, where we were doing top something, no, that top was right. There was one where we, or the previous question where I've done the same thing. So. That needs to be corrected as well. Okay, so this is sorted now. Okay, but now we need those that are less than ten thousand. Let me format it so that we can read it right. Okay, so basically every okay, so it's, it was right actually. Okay, so it's just from this point to 8,000 that we need. The rest, we don't need. Okay, so um, what was done earlier was was uh, was okay. So let me go back and right click again. And what we are doing is, is all what we call data validation, okay? You, you want to be very sure that you are showing, you are giving the right, uh, um what did i do before you are giving the right data you know so to say to to people okay so less than ten thousand okay yeah so you want to check and check and check and check again we don't necessarily need the grand total for all of them so in case you want to switch your grand total off you can come to your table design, pivot table design here, and you know do whatever it is that you want to you want to do. I don't want that grand total, so I'll say off the grand total, you know, and the, and all I need is this because I wasn't asked to total it, okay. Um, and so we can chart this as well, okay. So if we decide to chart this, what chart should we use? Um, that's not too many as well. So um, we haven't used bar chart yet. Okay, so bar chart might be a good one to use. Histogram we can't use unless we, we do all that uh, copying and pasting value and this doesn't really show uh, much of anything. So I think the bar was, was a good one to use. 
and just for the sake of variety as well, you know, so, and we can, this is a, a list of uh, available foods. Let me copy from here. Fruits available. Okay, so control C that, and I'll copy that in here and we can tweak it around because that's too long. Uh, fruits available. Okay, so I lost the F. Fruits available for season three. Uh, and we can just put the less than sign, you know, uh, less than less than ten thousand in stock, you know, and that can come here, and we can remove or hide all these field buttons because they are not really necessary, um, and I think, yeah. For now, this will do. So I'm going to cut it and put it on the on the other place. Um, let's put this here, Control V. Okay. Um, I mean, after all is done, you've answered all the questions. You can then start looking at making your work look really nice and presentable and and charting it and you know putting the, the colors into and just aligning everything nicely, you know. And by then you would you are very confident that you you're presenting the right data uh, and you are fine, you know. So um, question five, a total cost per region alongside total cost, total sales a total cost per region total cost per region alongside total sales amount okay so if we cut that or copy that rather um um region i don't know how many how many region let me see if we can slot this here you know Control V that I, I don't want it to tell us that it's overlapping. Okay. So um I might no. Let me keep copying this one. This one has worked well for us. So let's copy this. And um control V it. Um and then we can open our field list. And um, how did I no field set not field set in the field list is what I need. Show field list. Okay, so we need total cost per region. So that tells me total profit needs to go. Okay, where am I getting my total cost from? From the sales order. Thank you. So total cost is right here. Let's look for it. Okay, yeah. Um, what is it? We couldn't complete the action. There is already a pivot table. Pivot table five there. Make a space to try again. There's no pivot table here. Wow. Okay, let me see if we can try this space. I'm just trying not to not to go on to another page, but if we have to, then we have no choice, we will. Okay. So total cost has gone under rules, but I'll bring it here. Uh, because we need to sum it. So total cost by region. Where do we have region? Team leader needs to go. Which field, which uh, table has got, oh, there we go. I think I saw region now. So it's in sales. 
So we have central, north, and south, you know, and um, and it says alongside total sales. So not just the cost, we are comparing the sales as well. So total sales is this one. Okay, all right. So this was our total cost. Why is it counting? Uh, I was looking at that difference that is too massive. It's counting the cost for us. So let's, and you say count of total cost. So normally it would automatically sort it. Why is he saying it as something to be counted? We might need to go back into our data. Uh, maybe it's formatted as text. Um, that's the only reason I know. So if we go back into here um, and edit uh, and see what's happening with a uh, total cost field, um, because it should normally just sum it, but we'll see. So total cost. Food cost total, you see total cost is, is having that. So that's why it's, it counted it rather than sum it straight away. So we are going to change that into whatever, whichever one of the, the numbers, uh, currency, if you like, you know, so, and that should solve that problem. Okay, so it's, it's updating it, we have to wait. Okay, I think it's finished updating. Then we can, I'll take that out and see what happens now. If I put it in, it should sum, yes. So it summed it now. That's what we wanna see, okay? So, and that, that's why it's really important to, to have the right data, formatting data type. Uh, one of the really, yeah, data type is very important to the work uh, we do. We want dates to be seen as dates, numbers as numbers, you know, regions as regions, so to say. Um, and th this is a, looking at the size of uh, what the, the items we are comparing here, what chart would you, um, would you suggest that we use? Do not chat, no. Okay, we will try it and see. Um, let's try and see what 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 we get. Okay, so um, do not is here, and um, you see it's it's only showing us total sales. It's not picking the the other. Uh, measure, which is also costs. We are comparing both total cost and total sales for both, for all of the regions, not just total sales or not just total cost. If we were just looking at one of them, either total sales or total cost, pie charts or donor charts would have been a really good bet because it's just three, three regions we are comparing, okay? But by nature of the fact that we are comparing two things, um, is not applicable properly in this case. So that takes us to try any of you know, these ones, uh, either the clustered column like this, where we can see sales colored differently to, to cost. We can see the legend, you know, so that is one we can use, or we can decide to use this. Okay, actually, let's go look through. We can decide to use this tagged column, okay? Again, it gives you the legend uh, that the blue bit is the, is the sales and the uh, brown bit is the total cost on top. So that is your uh, stacked column or the 100% stacked, which takes it straight to 100% and gives you the percentage of each portion of, of whatever, okay? Or this 3D, 3D clustered column, which I like using, I think we might go for the 3D this time around, okay? So I think the, when it separates them, 
and compares them, it's, it's better seen than when it's piling them into stacks or stacks like this. Um, and that's just a matter of opinion, you know. So let's bring that in. Um, I, I won't be turning off the legends this time because we needed to know which bar represents uh, the total cost and which represents total sales. So it's it's our key to use in this in this um, in this instance. I'm going to still turn off. Um, I'm going to turn off this height. I always say turn off for height because it's obvious we know these are regions, um, and we can always put. Um, and we can see that it's total sales and costs that have been compared as well, okay? And um, I, I could just decide to put um, a title there. I see that the title is not there for this one. Axis title, I don't want. Chart title, yes. We can have a chart, chart title. Um, although, again, in my own opinion, this already tells me what this chart is doing. If I look at the legend, I can see that I'm comparing this by this, by region, okay? So, but I mean, the, the, more, uh, the more information you put there about your chat, uh, the less explanation that you, you feel like you have to do. So total cost slash sales by region. Okay. Um, and you can decide to have your legend anywhere else that if, if not where it is at the moment. Um, it's at the right, you can decide to have it at the bottom like that, okay? So, or at the top, or well, I think the top will be too busy. So, um, and we can put this here somewhere. Okay. Um, it's going to be eight o'clock soon. So I would suggest that we finish off the remaining ones. Um, let me, um, before, before I suggest anything, what we've done so far, is there any question? Um, anything that's not 